Hi guys, Greg Doyle here, Eat Sleep Boxing Repeat. Prediction video time and a fight I want to talk to you guys about this week is the upcoming um, British Super Welterweight title fight. That is between Scott Fitzgerald who is 13-0 with 9 stoppages and he takes on Ted Cheeseman who is 15-1-1 one and, one, and Ted also has 9 stoppages. So, what I would like to say about this fight, guys, is I've been holding off um, trying to call this one all week. Um, I think it's such a tough fight. Such a tough fight to predict. Um, the more I've watched of both over the last two days, it's became slightly more clear which way I'm going to go. But we can, we can come to that. I'd just like to give you guys a... A brief background into both guys first of all um, and then maybe explain why I've came to the conclusion that I, that I have. Um, so why don't we start off with Ted Cheeseman. Um, Ted Cheeseman was actually one of my picks to do the biggest things in 2019 and although you should believe that you're going to beat any fighter that, that you go in there with um, I can't help but think when Ted lost his undefeated record that at that time, and I don't say this about Matchroom or anyone else very often, but I think it was horrendous matchmaking. Um, he came up against a very, very good Sergio Garcia, who basically gave Ted Cheeseman a lesson. Um, it was basically a shutout apart from one of the cards that were, well, I don't know what one of the judges were watching, but um, Sergio Garcia reminds me of one of these guys that, and as we know, boxing's a business, you fight these guys if you have to. If you don't have to, then don't fight them. If there's no money in it, and there's no glory in it, then don't fight them. Now, I know that the European title was on the line for Ted at that time, but Ted had... 13 fights or so, uh, 14 fights at the time when he fought Sergio Garcia, whereas Sergio Garcia had about 28 fights, I think, at the time. It was very, very good. I don't think any of us thought Sergio Garcia would be as good as he was that night. And to be honest, Ted hasn't looked the same. I love Ted's go-forward look to put pressure on in, in fights. I think that's fantastic to watch, but... Since that fight, I've noticed Ted's getting hit an awful lot. Um, I think Kieran Conway as well was underrated, who I thought Ted did do enough to beat in his last fight, but that was that one was scored a draw. I did think Ted won that, but I don't think Ted looked great in that fight either. I don't know if the, the Sergio Garcia fight has taken something out of him mentally, and perhaps physically, because he did get a bit of a boxing lesson that night. Um, but... Ted's strengths, as we know, is come forward, aggressive, throws lots of shots, tries to outfit his opponent, which I think is sometimes a good tactic as long as you're moving your head, which Ted could do um, a lot more of, should we say. Um, but moving on, and we'll have a quick chat about Scott Fitzgerald now. Scott Fitzgerald, he's done next to nothing wrong, has he, since he's come through um, in the pro game, yes, Scott was a quite a good established amateur, but I think a lot of us were surprised when he beat Anthony Fowler. Um, it was a great fight. Scott hadn't really fought any serious guys of note up until he fought Fowler, and there was always the rumours that he was struggling at the weight, Scott, etc. But um, at times he was actually too clever for Anthony Fowler in that fight. There's a number of factors that you can look in uh, into that fight. Fowler was too aggressive. I think at times Fowler thought he maybe just had to show up instead of focused on his boxing. But I was very impressed with Scott Fitzgerald that night. I didn't think he had that performance in him. I thought Anthony Fowler would have potentially stopped um, Scott Fitzgerald in the second half of the fight or beat him relatively convincingly in a close fight on the cards. But Scott boxed out his skin. It was absolutely fantastic and it was the best performance of his career. But where I'm feeling difficulty with this fight, guys, and as I say, I'm putting this off all week because I can't make my mind up. I think the very best Ted Cheeseman beats the best Scott Fitzgerald. I think he potentially stops um, Scott Fitzgerald. But 
we haven't seen the be best Ed Cheeseman anymore since the Sergio Garcia fight. And yeah, it was only two fights ago, but he didn't look himself against Kieran Conway. And as I've spoke to you guys about in other videos, boxing, a lot of it is momentum. You can fight some guys, if you're coming off a five fight win streak, you might do a job on a guy in the sixth fight. If you're coming off a five fight, won your first two, drew one, lost one, and then you fight the guy in your fifth fight afterwards, you might not do a job on him, your confidence might mill, you might you might get pipped on points. It's one of those ones, momentum is everything. And for that reason and that reason alone, I'm picking Scott Fitzgerald to potentially stop Ted Cheeseman or to outpoint him. Um, on Saturday it's not been an easy decision because I think as, as I say Ted G's been at his best he wins the fight I just don't think he's going to be at his best um, and the Ted Cheeseman that I've seen against Kieran Conway etc he's made for Fitzy and I, I, I feel terrible to say that because I'm a Ted Cheeseman fan um, I like Scott Fitzgerald as well don't get me wrong but I just Scott Fitzgerald punches a lot harder than Kieran Conway and a lot harder than Sergio Garcia and those fights so far appear to have taken something away from Ted. So for that reason, that reason alone, I'm going with Scott Fitzgerald to win late or to outpoint Ted Cheeseman on Saturday's fight. If you want to see more from me, my name's Gregory Doyle. I write for Eat, Sleep, Box and Repeat. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Check out the website also. Thank you.